Right, as your rack system comes from the factory, it's going to be inside its case. First thing you need to do is uh, unvelcro the, uh, the bag and pull out your instructions that will be placed right here. Take a good look at those and uh, if you're already watching this, this is your video instruction tutorial. You want to take the pedestals and flip them out and then reclose the velcro behind them. You never want to take the system out of its bag unless you're about to use it and uh, it's fully attached to your vehicle roof rack. Uh, the reason for that is because there's a lot of straps and material that can get turned around and caught underneath these pedestals and it'll be very hard to uh, get it unraveled. So from here, when you first get your rack, pull the pedestals out, get them ready. You can undo the Velcro. That'll give you a little bit of step ahead when you get it on top of your vehicle. The next step is take it outside and put it on your roof rack. The logo, and that needs to face the rear of the car, or be on the, uh, the tail end of your vehicle. You're going to place it onto your roof rack, pedestals down. And uh, the first time you use your rack system, you're going to have to get your bars adjusted. The way you want to adjust them is take your rear bar and move it as far back as possible. And take your front bar and move it about 24 inches away from the back bar. Um, that's how the pedestals are adjusted from the factory. So if you're close when you set it up here, you know you've got your rails right. The next step you want to do is uh, take your pedestals with the straps that you've already undone. Wrap them around the front or back, whichever way they're oriented, and put it through the steel loop, and then take the Velcro and touch it back down on itself. And you need to repeat that in four places on each, four, each one of the pedestals. And if the pedestals don't line up perfectly, you can slide them on their tubes so that they line up. Next step is to take the bag off. Like I said before, you don't want to take this bag off unless you have the pedestal secure. The easiest way to do this is just to undo the Velcro in the back of the bag, undo the Velcro in the middle of the bag, and from there just come to the front of your vehicle. I'm um, sorry, you need to lift the uh, back of the bag off. From the front of the vehicle, just pull the front of the bag and let it come off. You may want to take the bag and put it somewhere where you're going to remember that you have the roof rack uh, occupied by your rack system. Uh, you can either put it in the front seat, on the steering wheel, or hang it over your side view mirror. Uh, from here, you need to spread the unit out. Uh, most people are going to need to stand up on top of their vehicle to, uh, to get access. The uh, best way to do that is to stand up on the rear tire. You want to slide the system over using holding on to the bottom of the pedestals until you get it near the center of the vehicle. Two things you're trying to accomplish here is get the uh, unit centered up here and then also spread out. And uh, you just want to spread it as far as you can get it from one side. You may need to just adjust each, pedal, each pedestal a little bit at a time until you get it smoothing, uh, sliding smoothly. And then once you're done with this side, go to the other side and spread it out the rest of the way. These are aftermarket uh, Thule roof rails. They're a little bit harder to work with since they've got a rubber coating on them. Most of the factory roof racks on uh, I know on GM vehicles are, are made of metal, and they tend to slide a lot easier. Uh, you know you're done with this step when this strap has got it uh, spread out and doesn't have much slack in it, like it's right here. Uh, from there, you're ready to move on to the, the next stage. I always like to verify that all the pedestals still have their Velcro attached and, uh, and tight. You're going to want to grab this uh, deployment pole should be just sitting up there and you want to bring it to the front of the vehicle. The easiest way to do this is to always be pushing. You never really want to be pulling on it and like a fishing pole it's going to bend the fiberglass pole and it's going to put a little bit more wear and tear in your system and be much harder to put a, a 
from back here, I could simply just push. It's very easy. I can do it with one hand. See, it's pretty easy, just up and down. You can do it from a little bit more of the side. Get back into the push. Come around. When it comes back down, it's going to be putting weight on it. You just want to keep walking. It's in this balance point right now. So I just keep walking and I bring it down towards me. And from here, the uh, sides are going to start to pulling. And uh, just want to open up the rear end, put the locking pins in. And these pins exist in four locations. One here, one here, and then two additional pins at the main hinge. Lock the system together. If the pins are difficult to insert, you may need to push up on them a little bit to get the holes to line up. The uh, second part of this is uh, this deployment hole has served two purposes. In non-windy conditions, or calm conditions, it can be stowed. And the way it's stowed is the uh, this little strap right here just gets wrapped around this pole, and basically it holds itself in position. The second way to use this pole is basically a tether. And to use it as a tether in windy conditions or gusting conditions, or if you ever need to leave it unattended and you don't know what the conditions are going to be like, you can leave it out like this, coming off of the unit, and uh, put a strap uh, strap a chair to it or a cooler or something heavy, a uh, table, generator, just about anything with weight to it. And that'll keep it from getting blown up by wind and lifting. Uh, some of the features to point out here, there's a wind vent here that helps dissipate any kind of wind, gust. And there's also some little holes right here. This is not a defect in the material. These are rain drains for uh, any slight uh, drizzling rain can drain from the unit and not add weight and uh, collapse your vehicle roof rack.